Traveling is the best way to make memorable memories. We also forget our daily troubles for a while and explore our new surroundings. We may be out of our comfort zones, but to embrace the adventures as they come and to share new and meaningful experiences. And I'm going to share with you our amazing and adventurous trip to the Rocket Jain Temple in Chidral village which is located in Tamil Nadu, India. Hi viewers, how are you all? I'm back again with an interesting episode of our travel in India. We reached the place around 9 in the morning and it takes almost 50 kilometers from Trivandrum and 45 kilometers from Kanikumari. You have to come either sunrise or sunset. Cars and other vehicles are allowed up to the foot of the hill. And after the entrance, we need to walk about 30 to 40 minutes to reach the monument. On our way to the monument, we could see another hill which has a beautiful viewpoint. And we stopped by there to see the beautiful surroundings. Wait, that is our house. We have not reached the destination, it is still halfway only. There are a lot of rock benches available at the sides of the walkways. Anybody planning to visit this place, please do carry enough of water because there is no petty shops across the walkways. This particular place is preserved and maintained by the Central Archaeological Survey of India. Come down, come down. We have reached at the top of the hill and the walkway towards the monument is between two giant rocks. So we are in between the caves of this uh, mountains. This ancient rocket sculptures is believed to be built during 9th century. Jainism is said to be the India's sixth largest religion and it is practiced throughout India. King Mahendra Varman I was responsible for the Jainism influence in this region. During the reign of the Chola dynasty, Jainism also flourished. Uh, almost 30 minutes of walk and climbing the stairs. Finally, we have reached to that place. Look at them, they have done a beautiful sculptures on the rock. It's how beautiful it is. This Jain monument is lesser known to the tourists who visit in the Kanyakumari district. It opens at 5 a.m. in the morning and it is absolutely free to visit this place. After viewing the sculptures on the cave, we came across the mandir. This place is being supervised and there was a security at the entrance and we were not allowed to take much videos and pictures inside the temple. The most beautiful part of the site has a natural heart-shaped pond just below the temple which provides a beautiful picture view of the farmlands and the valley villages. Once you reach this place, there is one thing that you should never miss. That is the surrounding view, the most mesmerizing view around this temple. For that, we need to go uh, climb up the mountains and here we go. And you must definitely take enough of time to enjoy this beauty of our country. The best panoramic views are almost always after the most difficult climbs. We big mountain. Nice view. After spending some time there, we decided to go back as my kids were getting hungry. And coming to this place, it gave us an exciting and adventurous experience. Real adventure actually. No problem, no problem, no problem. No problem. Yeah. Okay. And the only way to escape the ordinary is to explore the extraordinary. 
This your video will come, and then people will laugh that you are a, you are a, you are a Gigi baby. They will tell you say I'm the strong. He's a strong kid. A I'm a strong kid. Go. Go. Okay, go. It was a wonderful exploration for us. Really, we had a very good time exploring and climbing those mountains. I hope my viewers really enjoyed watching our video. Please do like, share, subscribe to my channel and do not forget to click on the bell button. And see you my dear friends on my next video.